Hello, uh, welcome to a tutorial by Zulubo. I'm going to be addressing a nice way to get um, immunity to have some simple assets rendered with a very low uh, number of draw calls. Um, so I don't know if this has a name, but I call it texture palettes. So if I have this house that I want to have different colors all over it, I'm just going to use solid colors, no, no textures. Um, uh, I could make a material for every part of the house I wanted to be a different color, but that actually, when you're rendering it in a game engine, it ends up creating a lot of draw calls. For every material, it splits the mesh up into separate meshes and then it actually renders them separately. Uh, so a faster, or a faster for the computer way to do that would be to actually create a single texture and um, color the entire model with that texture. Um, so I'm gonna kind of briefly go through how I would do that. So first of all, um, I need to separate this into the different colors that I want it to be, and it's kind of hard to do just in your head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a grease pencil. So I add a new layer, make it green with the grass, and turn off x-ray, and then over under grease pencil in the options, I'm gonna make sure that I draw it on the surface. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna, gonna like draw on the grass, sort of. Great. Okay. Uh, so now I've got my grass. I know that that's one of the colors that I need. Next, I'm going to do the house. Make it blue. Maybe like, yeah, sort of that color. That's nice. Turn off x-ray, surface, it's on surface. Yeah, get the idea. I'm going to speed this up and just go through all of my different colors that I want. Alright, uh, that's all the colors I want. I can look in here and I have four, eight. Yep. Okay, so next we need to create a color palette texture for all of these. So, and you can literally use any image editing tool you want for this. And it doesn't need to be big. I'm gonna do 256 by 256. Um, first of all, I'm gonna just make a black background so I can see it better. That's completely optional, obviously, because it only matters what you, the colors that you have on it. Actual. Sure. So, um, just make kind of blobs of whatever color that you want. Okay, uh, and there's my color palette. So, just blobs. And I left some black space because I do have black color there. Export that. Don't need good quality at all. Not enough palette actually has two L's or one L. Uh, anyway, we now have, here's my Unity project. You can see my house is already loaded in there and there's my palette. So what I will do is in this house shader, I will select the palette. Okay, so. I'm going to leave the grease pencil because this is really helpful on the next part. I'm going to go get to my view and open that palette texture. And now we're going to UV unwrap. Wow, that was not good quality JPEG, but it's fine. I got the colors, which is what we need. So first of all, I'm going to select all the stuff that I want to be grass. Uh, and that is all the stuff I want to be grass. I do want to select everything and open that palette texture so I know it's that display that in there. I don't know what the deal about displaying images in, in the UV editor is. It's pretty confusing and weird. Alright, just position that in there. And the smaller, is, the smaller it is, the better, because you make sure you don't want any black, you don't want any of this um, compression goo around the edges. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to do this plant next, because that's kind of I always set up my texture. Yeah. Oh, and mirror modifiers are really helpful for doing this kind of thing. Whenever you have any repetition, you really want to have a modifier doing it. Doing the work. Alright, purple for house. Just call that house. Smalls. 
purple. And that color is my pathway. I'll speed this up again. Oh, very interesting. I'm here first in the trap grease pencil, and we will have the grand reveal. Ta da! Pretty cool. All right. It's now all textured. Save that, go back into Unity, you will find that it has been textured properly. And you do a couple of things. It does look a little bit weird. You can, I, it's always, the color's always set to a little bit darker than white. I find like white when you have a texture it looks the best. Um, obviously you can set the smoothness down so it's rough and it looks nice. And yeah, you have this wonderfully cartoon textured model that looks really nice. You have a nice looking cartoony textured house uh, or whatever model, of course, you're using. And you're using a single texture of blobs. Uh, yeah, that's all for today.